In other news, the chairman of ECOWAS, President Mahama, is calling on international donor bodies to cancel debts of all Ebola-stricken countries to strengthen their chances of recovery. Meanwhile, the United Nations has begun processes to okay the formation of an international crisis management team to curtail the spread of deadly diseases like Ebola in the future. The president made the observation when German ministers for health and economic cooperation paid a courtesy call on him at the seat of government. The visit was a follow-up to President Mahama's trip to Germany in January, where he teamed up with German Chancellor Angela Merkel to push for the formation of an international crisis body to curtail future outbreak of deadly diseases. President Mahama announced the UN has approved the request. Just a few days ago, I was very pleased to receive a response from the UN Secretary General accepting our proposal and um, indicating that the UN was going to work with us to set up such a panel and they hope that we would um, uh, assist so that we can set up a better international crisis response system. I want to use the opportunity to thank Germany and all the other international partners for their participation in the international response, which has led to our successful fight against uh, Ebola. He also appealed to the various international bodies to cancel debts of Ebola-affected countries to fast-track the economic recovery. Ebola has taken a very serious toll on them in terms of their economies. Um, as the World Bank, it has accounted for a reduction of 4.6% in GDP as a result of the Ebola. But the three aff most affected countries need the help of the international community. And so one of the priorities would be to help them build a, a, a robust public health system. And then also, apart from that, give them some uh, support in terms of um, probably some write-off, debt write-offs, in order that they can re-engineer their economies and bounce back you know, uh, on their feet. The two ministers said Germany would continue to partner Ghana in its developmental agenda. Meanwhile, Liberia is a few weeks away from being declared Ebola-free.